Today on The Breakfast, State Houses of Assembly rejects a bill seeking to grant financial and administrative autonomy to local government. What then happens to development at the grassroots in 2023? Also on The Breakfast, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, increased the interest rate to 17.5% from 16.5% to tame rising inflation. What is the implication for the Nigerian economy? And like always, we'll also be looking through today's newspapers, analyzing the biggest stories of the day. It's a beautiful morning and thank you so much for uh, joining us on uh, the show. It's called The Breakfast. I am Messi Bopo. As always, we start a top uh, trending conversation. I mean, we start off with a top trending conversation. Uh, these are, you know, conversations that our Nigerians are having on different fora. Uh, social media spaces and what have you. Now, first on the list is that Godwin Emefile of the Central Bank of Nigeria believes that the Naira redesign may have reduced kidnapping. And don't forget that, you know, uh, this has also not been very well. We're still grappling with the entire process, bringing a new Naira note for several reasons and what have you. Uh, but that's what it is. A lot of people believe that that's the case because, I mean, it feels like it's once upon a time we've heard about the issue of kidnapping and what have you. That's been the case. Uh, for it. Uh, we still have to grapple with the issue of non-availability of the new Naira note and uh, the fact that there's a debt, a date line, uh, there's a, a day uh, which has been set aside, we're talking about January 31st for the submission or that would be the last day that uh, the legal tender, you know, the former uh, legal tender will be very valid as a means of transaction. And these are some of the conversations that Nigerians are having. Away from that, uh, there's also another story that it's making the rounds. I mean, it's been making the rounds and you can't get over this one. It's that a mother fed a baby with tramadol in order to go clubbing. So it was stated that, you know, a young lady uh, wanted to go to club and then she wondered what can she do uh, because she had a baby and then she needed to go to the club. Probably there was no one to take care of the baby. The baby eventually died, so she gave the baby uh, tramadol. I don't know, it wasn't stated how many tablets of tramadol was given to this baby, uh, but it was stated that she, the baby was given tramadol. And then she locked the baby, according to the story, in the room, and then she took off. Now, taking off to the club and, and returning, uh, the baby had died. I mean, look at that. Very beautiful baby. Very beautiful baby. But... Uh, it's a lot to grapple with. I saw comments. Uh, the one that actually stood out for me was a lady who talked about the fact that she's been looking for a child and she's struggled with that for almost how many years now. And she's had four miscarriages and, she, you know, looking at the story is so heartbreaking. And so you begin to ask yourself, is life not so unfair? <laughs> it, it, it reminds me of the rhymes we used to say way back then in school. I mean, if you school in Nigeria and went to all of the nursery and primary schools in Nigeria, you probably would have been taught about uh, some have food but cannot eat and we have food we can eat uh, glory be to God and all of that it's just almost that particular case but it's very saddening and then I think that you know we have laws protecting children uh, we need to activate all of that even though we know that a lot of um, states in Nigeria have not domesticated that law uh, protecting the rights of children because you're a child up until you turn 18 and that's what the Constitution recognized and uh, this is totally, you know, a violation of that child's uh, right and what have you. That's led to, you know, the loss of life. And so I think it's important that we pay attention to the issue of the Child Rights Act. And look at that. For states that have not implemented it, it's important. But we'll also say, yes, if you have a law, uh, what is the effect? The law should take its place. There should be all of that. But uh, coming back to, I mean, there are different angles to this conversation. Whether or not some people should be, you know, mothers is another question. And then we live in a society where everything is happening right now. And that's what it is. Uh, should government not be considering the issue of, you know, population control, childbirth? Countries like China, Japan had considered it. Uh, we, we can continue to act like this and expect a different result. But it's really, really heartbreaking and this happening. 
that um, that actually happened. Uh, the stories uh, will continue to unfold and we're right here to bring you up to date with what's going on. But uh, Nigerians are asking that justice be meted, of course. Uh, but at this point in time, we're hoping that that mother in question should have been arrested and, uh, you know, the law would take its cause. Now to the next on our top trending is that a lady was caught stealing from a store in Lagos. And according to the particular report, uh, it was stated that she stole 200,000 naira, And when she was caught and captured in, in video, she said that she was hungry. And she pleaded that I'm hungry and that's why I stole 200,000. And it wasn't a different reaction. Uh, we have constantly talked about the issue of when people say, oh yes, we did a certain thing because of that. So there's always an excuse. And uh, the comments, if you look at, if you follow the conversation of these young ladies, that some people are asking, hey, so if you're really hungry, 200,000 is a lot, you know, at a time. Let's say you're hungry and then you need to, you know, eat. But, but should that be justification? Because it feels like we have over time excused bad behavior for, you know, suffering. So if you um, engage in a certain behavior, then we get to excuse it. Oh, he's poor. He doesn't have money. You know, he's hungry and what have you. But that's not it. That's not really it. Because you're depriving another person. I mean, the person you stole 200,000 naira from, you don't even understand the situation or condition that he or she is in. And that's a store. Really unfortunate. But that's it this morning on a top trending. We take a break. When we return, we'll be looking through the papers this morning. Please stay with us.